So another thing that we missed while we were gone, but let's talk about it anyways. Transformers Bumblebee, we got some toy reveals, and I mean physical reveals. I mean prices, price points, and pictures. Yeah, uh, so we got the Energon Igniters line, which is clearly the overall um, the overall gimmick and, and subline title for that, which is the Bumblebee movie line, uh, with the speed price point being $5.99, power, which is $9.99, Power Plus, which is $12.99, and Nitro, which is $19.99. And that being said, you know, Speed is probably the Legends, Power is that of a Scout, Power Plus is Deluxe, and Nitro being a Voyager. Uh, these are really cool because there's something that more harkens back to that of, let's say, the early movie toys where there was, you know, dedicated price points and just giving multiple characters with those dedicated price points. Mm. Um also kind of confirms a little bit some characters that are in a movie it, clearly they're pulling from some characters from previous movies combined with obviously that of the new you know i was about to say michael bay yeah. bite my tongue in this day and age uh live action movie mm. so we have let's just go with first uh the energon igniter speed price point which is 599 which are the smallest of them uh, they're three-inch speed series that transform in seven steps or less. Pretty much Legends figures. Uh, from what it looks like we have here, we have a Optimus Prime, which looks a lot larger than the others, but I think it's just more for the photo. Um, an Optimus Prime, a Bumblebee, a Barricade, and then what looks like, and it's the new character, which was also announced a few days ago, that's going to be in the Bumblebee movie, the character of Dropkick. Um, Dropkick was actually a character that existed in the movie universe previously, but only in toy form. And this is the first time he's going to be getting um, a actual physical appearance in this in the fiction. Hmm. Uh, and it's going to be his first time as a car. Originally, he was a uh, he was some kind of a uh, pickup truck. Originally, that's where the name Dropkick came from because he was like a kick tr uh, Dropkick kind of uh, vehicle. Okay. Then we have uh, the power which is a five inch power series, a little more complex. They say four to nine steps uh, and uses um, some kind of s like core system that is similar to that of the power plus. Once again, we have, again, I could totally be getting these price points wrong because none of these images are properly marked, ordered, but, it, but it gives a, it gives you a general idea of certain stuff. Um, but we got that of Hot Rod uh, with a more traditional car looking design as opposed to how he looked in the movie, which was, you know, a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. We got Bumblebee. We got Optimus Prime. We got Barricade. Looks really cool. Um, and I really dig that, like, uh, in the larger Optimus uh, Hot Rod one that we're going to be discussing later, he has, like, even a flame on the hood. So pretty cool stuff. After that, we got uh, a Bumblebee that looks more like his old Camaro with pop-out weapons. This is more something similar to that of a um, fast-action battler similar aesthetic again the sizes are, are going to be kind of hard to tell but you could see by the limited amount of plastics and the thinness of them probably something of a more modest size maybe that of a of a scout if you will and we got that of a again we got a camaro b and uh from the first movie we got a tank megatron from revenge of the fallen we got dropkick again uh who's going to be making more appearances obviously because of being in the b movie and yet another hot rod for me to collect <laughs> Uh, with that more Camaro looking design makes me wonder that now that there's two hot rod toys with that with that, with that new not Camaro but with that new like old Mustang design uh, makes me wonder um, there's a possibility that this uh, means that he might be in the movie what do you think I say probably like, there's a very yeah, strong it, chance um, I mean it's because it, I'm looking at Barricade clearly an old 80s car design you know what I mean? Yeah, like and barricade toys. What every then what everyone thinks he's gonna be is like if you follow the 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 path of since he was a more modern Mustang, then he'd be an '80s Mustang, which is the Fox body Mustang. Yeah. So that's but what you're kind of seeing in this um this smaller toy over here. Yeah. Um, I guess, which is interesting if you look at barricade. Uh, I think it's gonna be the row with hot rod. Um, Bumblebee, Prime, and Barricade. Uh, that Barricade, more legend scale one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Barricade and Hot Rod are basically the same toy. Oh, yeah. Totally. They're basically they're, the they're, same they're, toy, and they're basically that Fox body Mustang that we yeah. got in the 80s and early, early 90s. One is one is a repaint of the other with a light bar on top of it. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's interesting that they went about that. And then when you go to... 
when you go to the more upper aesthetic, um, it's that of, let's say, a Mustang, but the more newer 80s ones that had that more, like, pronounced uh, front nose and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's and then I interesting. Think we, Again. And also, when I, I go back, and when I go to the next row with the uh, Bumblebee, the Megatron, the Dropkick, I guess? Yeah, Dropkick, yes. Dropkick and the um, Hot Rod. Hot Rod is another remold of Dropkick. <laughs> yeah, more I'm or just, less. I'm just, I don't know if you mentioned this before, but I'm just, just going through it right now. No, you're totally right. I'm just looking at it, like looking at it hard. I'm like, does it look the same mold? And oh, yeah, there yeah. it is. And so. it's and the ironic thing. The ironic thing with that one is Hot Rod, who's always been known for a hot rodded engine, mm-hmm. doesn't have the hot rodded engine. Yeah. Dropkick has it. So, <laughs> again, this is the movie verse. Cats are dogs and dogs are cats. Everything is all over the place. So Yeah, and I think um, if you were to make Hot Rod into a French card, that would just be too exotic for yeah. for the molds it'd just be too much so i mean but but the one thing to take from that at least is that i think it kind of confirms that hot rods in the movie judging it, by this because if, I, even like, though I, that... I, I, all the other all the other like let's say non-confirmed movie toys that are appearing here are based on previous existing appearances again mm-hmm. like that megatron yeah you know and and yet here we have a hot rod that instead of it being you know, that Lamborghini or like, you know, trying to be even like that old Citroen that he was, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're just going with this aesthetic instead. So either either it's them just being kind of lazy and going, uh, well, you know, we re- repainted him from Barricade with this this uh, price point. What do we repaint him from something at this price point? Maybe that's that. Maybe they're just looking at Dropkick and going, ah, we'll just repaint him again. Or maybe we legitimately do have a new Hot Rod car- well, hot rod himself appearing in the movie. That'd be cool. I'd dig that. I'd hate it if he was just a one-movie character like many of the other Autobots that have come and go. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that'd be really awesome. And then, of course, we move up to the other ones where it shows how the gimmicks work and with the little core. I guess it's the Energon Igniter core thing, which looks like almost looks like it unlocks weapons. It's pro- It looks similar to that. It looks like a larger version of the Force Key or mm-hmm. a Minicon or anything like that. Again, a play pattern, price point, and stuff. And and I mean, sure, they need that kind of stuff. Again, these toys are for kids ultimately in the end. You want to have some kind of fun play pattern than just being straight up, you know, 100%. Oh, it just transforms from A to B. So, I mean, it's cool stuff. Um, I mean, I'm going to definitely pick up those hot rods. Those are really cool. Uh, maybe that barricade. I don't know. I kind of dig that old that old Mustang body on him. Yeah, Fox kind- body. Look it up. Yeah. Kind of really cool, yeah. Look it up, people. Fox it's one body. Of, it's one of those, um, I guess, molds, body types that are more desirable right now, and you know, it's very getting very hard to find, and it's getting you know rarer and pushing up the price. But that's what it is. Um, and just to play off of uh, again with uh, Dropkick, um, part of the reason why we know the name of Dropkick and stuff is there was a piece of news that was revealed that the two other confirmed Decepticons that will be in the uh, the Bumblebee movie is uh, we're going to have a Red Cherry Plymouth Satellite, which is going to be a female character called Shatter, uh, voiced by Angela Bassett, of all people. So that's mm-hmm. really cool. She was recently in the Black Panther movie, if I remember correctly, yep, right? Yep, yep, um, So she's uh, getting her name out there and keeping busy. So she's going to be a new female to add to the ranks of Transformers history, and she looks pretty badass in this. Uh, and then, of course, like we said, Drop Kit, that, Drop Kick, who now we have some toys now, and we know that he's in the movie. And he's considerably smaller than her, and she's vo- voiced by an actor by the name of Justin Thoreau. Yep. Um, we kind of did some research a little bit about him, you said, and there's what yeah, has he done? Yeah, uh, he's mostly known for the show The Leftovers. Okay. Uh, he was also in the Lego Ninjago movie as, I think, uh, the main who, who character. Is he? I think oh, he, he was, was the, the main, main character. character. Like, oh, yeah, like, interesting. Remember, like, you know, if you watch the trailer, it's like... Um, Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to defeat you. And he's like, I hate you, dad. And it, like, Wait, it turned... he was Lovo... Well, hold on a second. Back this up. He was Lloyd, <laughs> Or Lloyd in this case? Lord, yeah, Lord... Uh... Lloyd. It's Lloyd. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. he was actually... So, okay, so then that, he was actually pretty good then. And then he was uh, also in uh, Star Wars The Last like Jedi the as movie. the Master Code Breaker. So when they go to the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the planet, but I always call it Planet Monte Carlo. Yeah, the uh, casino he's the, planet. He's like the super fancy looking master code breaker before they find the other guy that breaks him out. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Well, anyways, yeah, I he's, love he's, Ninjago. He's bu- yeah, so. he's busy. He's busy. He's he's he's, right. he's been doing stuff, you know. 
And then the last to, to talk about is we also have, um, they revealed the DJ Bumblebee movie toy that we were discussing. And of course, you know, as expected that I thought it pretty much is more or less a complete brand new toy, but using the same general ideas and concepts of that of the original Bumblebee toy. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, the original DJ Bumblebee toy that came out in 2007. Now, granted, this is a brand new mold, changing the aesthetic to match that of the, the current movie design. But you still plug in your iPod, it's you know, or your phone. It's still gonna play music. It still dances. It still responds to sounds. It still does a lot of different things. He actually has uh, <laughs> devil horns on one of his hands, so uh, or e- either either devil horns or he's trying to shoot some spidey web. But um, <laughs> I or think he's it's more. Or trying devil- to tell you, I love you. In, or I uh, love American you. American Sign Language. Yeah. Actually, the I love you, I believe, is with two fingers. But yeah, I no, guess I th- if I remember right, it's, it's, you have the, yep. the extra out. Yeah, you would have to have the extra one. But either way, point being is, uh, so I guess maybe you could you articulate him that he has it above his hand and you know he could be thrashing <laughs> to a kiss or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Motley Crue. But, I mean, it looks yeah, really cool. Yeah, something more 80s. Something definitely more 80s. Yeah. Uh, there's a, I was actually poison. scrolling down. He could be rocking out to Poison. I was just scrolling down. I actually saw a photo. Someone actually posed it that way. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it, it, it looks cool. I, you know, it's not many times you ever see a Transformer toy that does that, you know, outside of something that has articulated fingers. So this mm-hmm. is a molded choice. Uh, obviously, again, sound effects, the whole ordeal. So it's it's the spiritual successor of the old 2007 one. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm almost tempted by this just because I love wacky stuff like that from Transformers. <laughs> and uh, the fact that it has that wacky, like, you know, pre-molded hand. I know this thing's going to be expensive. That's the sad thing. It's, oh, yeah, I just saw it now. Thirty nine ninety nine American. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, speaker. It's I a will speaker. see you at the bargain bin, my friend. You They're will be forty bucks for a speaker. How yeah. can you hate? It's gonna dance for you. It's it's gonna dance way my wallet. The dance like a says Homo here, sapien. Figure, says here figure comes preloaded with music clips from Walk This Ways by Aerosmith, yeah. Bust a Move by Young MC. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> and the original Transformers Robots in Disguise theme from Generation One. I guess you know the one that was. The from the G1. one the sound clip that I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna play the whole thing I would hope yeah so that's uh, that's pretty fucking crazy that's uh, yeah um, backseat pretty... of a that's always undercover and I talk to my daddy and say can't say more because we're gonna get sued <laughs> there you go well you got the Wendell version but uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna sound as good as the Wendell version but yeah either way pretty awesome <laughs> again so now i think i know why it's 39.99 they had to pay some licensing exactly here. gotta play it for yeah a okay I, move. I, I i take it i take it all back now i you take it all back now it's all making sense you got it mm, bust the move <laughs> there you go either way that that's that's a little bit of what we're going to be getting obviously san diego comic-con is around the corner so we're definitely going to be revisiting a lot of this stuff and talking about more reveals as it comes